What's up guys, Brendan Boylan here, associate producer for the Dance and Bulldogs, here to bring you this deleted scene, uh, Gardner-Webb versus Kennesaw in non-conference play. When we looked at that Kennesaw game initially, I called it a wake-up call for Gardner-Webb, especially pulling that game out by the skin of their teeth in overtime. And it, it was a concern that a team with only one win on the season came into your house and maybe you were a little complacent, you were a little comfortable. It's an important game uh, in my mind in terms of things starting to turn around and click a little bit for the team. However, it just didn't fit the flow of, of what we wanted to do uh, in this documentary because we felt that though the fr I think the first and second cuts included that game, as we got further along in the process, we felt like that game against Kennesaw State would have taken away or got lost in the mix, especially with those ACC wins just right around the corner. But it was an important one for Gardner-Webb. They came out on top, and we hope you enjoy this deleted scene. I think you have to go back to the game against Kennesaw State. Kennesaw State comes into Paul Porter Arena with only one win on the season. The team that you were confident you could go in, execute your game plan, and get the victory. But Gardner-Webb struggles in that game really rough first half right after that first media timeout we saw a lot of things go downhill including a 16 to 2 run for Kennesaw State in the first half. They played really well and um, we might have had a couple breakdowns defensively and, and there was there was some instances that we didn't play well enough but um, you know offensively we were you know a little stagnant and um, you know had some guys not shooting particularly well. Kennesaw State knocked down Shot after shot after shot, contested shot, contested shot, contested shot. We got down 12 here in the second half. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, I didn't think we played particularly well. They had a lot to do with that. But, um, you know, credit our team for finding a way, finding a way to get back in, to, to get our energy level going, make a couple shots, and then, then string some stops together. But after all this, we're headed to overtime. It's 70 to 70 between the dogs at Kennesaw State. Jose Perez waited for the official to make his call. Perez gets that one to fall and he gets the and one. Four point game, that should all but do it. Affiani hits big free throws down the stretch. He ends up with the game winning steal and the dogs steal a game at home and complete the comeback. Barely survive an overtime victory over Kennesaw State. I don't want to call that a wake up call per se, but talk about motivation going in and knowing two of your next three opponents were on the road. They take this one over the Kennesaw State Owls by the score of 81 to 77.